Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi Jong and today we're having a little bit of a face off. So we're gonna take a look at the new Victoria Beckham Beauty eyeshadow sticks. So these are called the eyewear shadow sticks. And then we also have new Hourglass Cosmetics Voyeur eyeshadow sticks. So we're gonna take a look at these and I have wear tests for both. Let's go ahead and get started with some swatches. So let's start with the Hourglass shadow sticks. So these come in seven shades and these all have a metallic finish. So if you're looking at this, we do have like a snap on packaging and you can see that our applicator here has a slant. The name of the product is gonna be on the bottom here. So this one is Aurora, which is the green. So here's Aurora, you can see, you know, let's just go over the last one a little bit. So you can see that it's, it can be a little bit sheer, but you can build it up. This one here is Equinox, which is going to be a brown. You can see that this green, by the way, is more of an olive green, and it has, it has a little bit of brown in there. Again, these all have a metallic finish, so you're gonna see a shimmer. Equinox here is going to be a warm, soft brawn, bronzy brown, <laughs> so almost like, um, like a fawn with new hair. So you know how it's a little bit deeper right at the beginning. And then we have Galaxy, which is their plum shade. And this is gonna be like a red based plum. You can see there's definitely some warmth to it and there's more pink in here than actual purple. And as you can see, all of these, you know, I built up the very last portion of each, but you can see that they are, they can be pretty sheer with one swipe. So if you put it on with one swipe and then you blend it out with a finger or a brush, you're really gonna get a very, very light wash of color. So you can build it up to get more pigmentation. So these are the three from Hourglass I picked up. Let's take a look at the Victoria Beckham. So the Victoria Beckham also have snap top opening and you can see we actually have a domed applicator here and we have two different finishes. So we're gonna start off with the matte shades. This one here is pecan, and this is going to be kind of a rich medium brown. So just build that last one up. You can see with one swipe, the Victoria Beckham are gonna be a more pigmented stick in general than the Hourglass. And this brown, it's a pretty neutral brown, but there is a touch of like a reddish warmth hue through it. Next, we have the shade Trench, which is going to be kind of your beige shade. And I would say that this is kind of like a warm beige, but this is also something that you can use, like if you wanted to use it as an eyeshadow base or primer, um, you know, depending on your skin tone, either one of these shades could potentially work for that. Uh, this shade actually reminds me of the Chantecai primer. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I have that anymore. Let me just check real quickly. No, it looks like I have already discarded that one, um, but this does kind of remind me of that. It's a little bit deeper than the lighter shade, but it is. it, it just seems like a similar tone. And then we have two kind of more non-traditional shades from Victoria Beckham, which was nice to see. We have Sunflower. And I wanna say that, you know, the Victoria Beckham shades, I purchased four of them, uh, you know, the day that it launched. So I purchased four of them the day that they launched, but then they actually ended up sending me all of their shades. So I now have all seven shades. And this one here is Sunflower. You can see it's a bright mustard yellow. Like think of French's mustard. That's, you know, kind of the color that you're looking at. And then we have Macaron which is this really soft pink shade. And you can see that this is a pink with a balance of both blue and pink tones throughout it. So it's a pretty neutral bubblegum pink, almost more like a soft peony shade. You know, it's kind of like that candy pink. And, you know, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like that one because I don't typically like pink eyeshadows. <laughs> And so, so much, but you know, this shade, I have to say, I 
to really like it. I really like how well they have balanced and added in some of those cooler tones. Those warmer pinks always make my eyes look very like red and this one doesn't. So these are the four matte shades from Victoria Beckham. Now we're moving on to the shimmer metallic finishes. This one here is bottle green and you can see that we've got more of a deep forest green here and there's a touch of gold shimmer in here. I really like this one. I mean, think of like camo green. That's the kind of green we're looking at. That one's called bottle green. And then we have caramel. And caramel here you can see is going to be, it's kind of in between both pecan and trench, but it is gonna be a warm, soft, shimmery brown. A touch of bronze in there. You can see that it's gonna be fairly similar to Equinox from Hourglass. Let's go ahead and put that right there so you can kind of see those together. You can see that the Victoria Beckham is gonna be a little bit deeper in tone, but our color and our sheen is going to be similar to Equinox when you build that up. Let me just go ahead and swatch Bottle Green right next to the uh, Aurora shade as well. You can see how different those really are. We're looking at more of a soft, mossy olive in Hourglass versus a deeper forest green, camo green in Victoria Beckham. And then our last shade here is our champagne shade from Victoria Beckham. This is called Oyster. And I think it's a really nice champagne. There is a balance of kind of silver and gold in there. So it's not too silvery, it's not too golden. And Hourglass also has a champagne shade. I did not pick that one up because it did look like it ran warm to me. So, uh, you know, hard to tell from the photos, but you know, definitely something to note. You can see that this champagne shade here from Victoria Beckham is still fairly pigmented, but all of these are creamy enough that they can sheer out. Now let's look at some eye demos while we talk about details. So let's start off with the Hourglass Shadow Sticks. So these retail for 34 US dollars. We have 1.6 grams of product. They're made in the US and we have a one year shelf life. So overall, according to Hourglass, we have an effortless crease resistant eyeshadow stick that delivers high impact color with a sleek metallic finish for all day wear. They are defining all day wear as up to eight hours and like other Hourglass products, these are vegan and cruelty free. Now let me first discuss the texture of these because these are gonna have a metallic finish. So when you have that new tube and you first put it on, it feels very smooth, lightweight, a little creamy, but really it's, it's more of a, like a thin glide versus like an actual like creamy product. And that's kind of what it feels like after you've used these for a little bit and it wears down a little bit, you can feel a little bit more of the texture in the me metallic finish. So just something to know after you've worn it like the first couple of times, you will probably, you know, if you're paying attention, it's not something super noticeable, but uh, you will probably feel a little bit of that grittiness from the metallic texture. Now I can feel that when I am gliding the stick over my lid, but it's not something noticeable if I put the product on a brush first and then apply it to the lid. So just something to know, it's not really a negative, it's just because of the finish there. And you know, these are very sheer. So it kind of took me by surprise at the beginning because I'm used to using an eyeshadow stick and I apply it and then I use a finger to kind of brush it out or a brush to, to blend it out a little bit. When you do that with the hourglass though, it really does kind of blend away to a very, very sheer layer. So it is something to note, you are gonna wanna probably build that up unless you want, are looking for a very, very soft, light wash of color. So overall, I think these are a really nice stick. They do last all day and they perform really well. They're easy to blend out. They're a little bit drier than the Victoria Beckham. Uh, you know, we'll talk about the texture of those in a minute, but you know, basically these are gonna be a very thin texture when you put it on, if you do wanna layer it, you know, it kind of dries quickly. So you put it on, if you wanna blend it out, you're gonna to have to work quickly, blend it out, add another layer if you desire. 
And if you decide you just wanna put it on directly with the stick, you can definitely have a built up color that way. You just have to be a little bit more careful with your precision. The slanted tip of this I find uh, is a nice feature. It makes it really easy to apply these to the lid. And if you did want to go all over color on the lid just with the applicator, it is a little bit more easy with this particular shape than some other shapes of eyeshadow sticks, such as the Victoria Beckham. That slant really does help you kind of be a little bit more precise because we're looking at a flat slant there, uh, not a domed product. So in summation, I think the Hourglass sticks, you know, they perform very well. They are a very nice product if you are looking for a lighter metallic finish eyeshadow stick. Now the Victoria Beckham, I have to say, is a little bit more versatile uh, for a couple of reasons. We do have a creamier finish, and let's go ahead and look at these demos. And because of that creamier finish, it's a little bit more of, you have a little bit more playtime to move the product around on your lid. It's also more pigmented from the start. So when you put this on, you could either put on a little bit and sheer it out and get that very light sheer wash of color, or you can pile it up a little bit more. You know, you just, there's a little bit more versatility with the application because one, it's not drying as long, and two, it's a little bit more pigmented so you don't have to keep layering to build that color up. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's because of that creaminess coupled with the pigmentation, it's actually very easy to get a very light wash of color with that as well. I also really appreciate the fact that they have two different finishes and you know, perhaps Hourglass will expand their line in the future and add some other ones as well. I typically tend to reach for my metallic or shimmery eyeshadow sticks more than my matte ones. However, I always like to use a matte eyeshadow stick when I'm using metallics. So I might use my metallics more frequently, you know, more of the different colors, but I really like having one as a base. And oftentimes during the summer, I will use a cream shadow stick or something like a Danessa Myricks Color Fix, some sort of cream product that's not gonna crease very well as my eyeshadow base. So I appreciate having those there. Now, one other thing I'd like to mention about the matte shadow sticks, you know, the yellow and the pink, the sunflower and macaron shades, they kind of took me by surprise. I did not order them with my initial order. And, you know, I was like, I'm not really sure how I'd, how I'd wear these, but I actually do really like them. I like the look that I created with them today. And one of the other uses I can think of for this yellow eyeshadow stick is actually as a color corrector. So I, once upon a time, had uh, you know problems with acne on my skin and what I used to use instead of like a color corrector or concealer on top of the acne is actually a yellow eyeshadow. And I could use this eyeshadow stick for that. So the one that I used to use is no longer in production. I ran out of it and now I'm like always testing my different yellow eyeshadows for that function. And I think this one is gonna work really well. So I could dab this on very lightly and then cover with you know my foundation or concealer with no problems. Now I haven't tested it yet, but that is my thought on that product. And I'm happy to see that because this is really uh, very similar in the tone that I used to use. So although we know that green is a great color corrector to counteract redness. Yellow is part of green, and for my skin tone, it often seems to work better on acne spots than a green corrector. So just something to note if you have been looking for something like that. I would definitely recommend trying something yellow you already have before purchasing something specifically for that purpose. You know, see if that shade works for you. But I, I really like that. Now, looking at some specs for the Victoria Beckham sticks, these retail for 34 US dollars and they also come in seven shades, just like the Hourglass sticks. We have 1.6 grams of product, so same size, same price. However, these have an 18 month shelf life and they are made in Italy. Victoria Beckham Beauty and Hourglass are both clean beauty brands. And the Victoria Beckham come in two different finishes and according to them, they don't need a base, a brush, or touch-ups 
for these. And again, just like the hourglass, these should last up to eight hours of all day wear. Now we do have two ingredients to highlight here, and that is the soothing seaweed oil. And the seaweed oil is going to be high in antioxidants. It's also high in free radical scavenging activity. And this is supposed to dissipate subcutaneous fat deposits on the lower portion of the eyelid for smooth looking lids. So I'm not sure how, how that's actually going to do that. Um, but essentially if that can smooth that area out, that's great. We also have Vita's Vita, which is supposed to increase collagen synthesis for redensification. So your skin's gonna look a little bit more elastic, a little bit more toned and so forth. Now, obviously I cannot attest for or against how these ingredients work long term. So uh, it's just something nice to know that they're there. Okay, it has been 14 and a half hours since I applied everything. And I have to say that, you know, up until a couple of hours ago, there was no creasing on the Victoria Beckham. So I would definitely give it like a 10 to 12 hour wear time. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to uh, come up and, you know, actually film an update during that time I wasn't home. But let me bring you in closer so you can see what it looks like now. It has creased now, but they really did last a full day. Pretty impressive. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think. Now, overall, I would have to say the Victoria Beckham, as I mentioned, they, these do have a creamy texture, so they're very easy to apply. They do set down, both the Hourglass and the Victoria Beckham Shadow Sticks will set down and they will not smudge. As a matter of fact, taking the swatches off my arm is going to be really difficult. <laughs> so uh, let me go ahead and show you how smudge proof they are. So here's our hourglass. And I don't know if you can tell, but I am applying pressure here as I'm moving those. And here's our Victoria Beckham. Now, when I'm actually touching these, the hourglass and the shimmer shades from Victoria Beckham, they do feel very similar while they are dry. So although I mentioned I can feel the hourglass, a little bit of that texture when I'm putting it on after using it, I have not noticed that yet with the Victoria Beckham. And I think that's solely because it has a creamier formula. And because of that, you're probably using perhaps a little bit more volume of the product. So it cushions against that. So you don't actually feel that texture going on. But once it dries, you do have a similar texture. The Hourglass slightly, you can feel a little bit more texture than the Victoria Beckham, but it's going to be very, very close. The matte ones just kind of, I mean, like you can feel there's something there, but you can't really there's no no texture to it and it's not tacky it's not powdery it's just kind of like you know there's a change in texture from your skin so let's go ahead and take a look at some comparisons we're going to start off with one of the sicily uh fido eye twists so this one here is number 16 and this is just a matte brown i'm going to put this one right here next to pecan from Victoria Beckham. You can see that pecan, you can see a little bit more of that redness in there versus the shade 16 from Sicily is gonna have a little bit more gray in there. And I have to say the, the texture of the Sicily is very creamy, very comfortable. These are one of my favorite eye crayons. So performance wise, I would have to say the Sicily eye crayons, they are very comfortable as well. They are creamy, just like the Victoria Beckham going on. They will also set down and they last a full day on me as well. So these are really nice. And then I also wanted to take a look at by Terry, this is a sample size one, and this is the Ombre Black Star, and this is in shade number four, Bronze Moon. And this, I love this one. So we'll put this one down here next to Caramel, and you can see that Bronze Moon is gonna be a little bit cooler in tone. And let's also put that one, we'll squeeze it in right here between Aurora and Equinox. So you can see that's also gonna be cooler in tone. This is very creamy, it's metallic as well. And 
and um, yeah, but I would say that it's a little bit creamier than both the Victoria Beckham and the Hourglass. You know, it's just a little bit of a softer formula. This is another one that performs really well. I really like these as well. So. And then we have Bobbi Brown long wear cream shadow sticks. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. This one here is Forest. So this is gonna be the closest one I have to bottle green, but you can see that there's a lot more brown in the Bobbi Brown. The, it, it's really more like, although they describe it as a green, it's, or Forest, it's really more like tree trunk brown with a touch of green in it. So, you know, that's how that is. These are gonna be very creamy. They smudge out, they stay put, they perform well as well. Then we have Mica from Bobbi Brown and that's gonna be closest to Oyster. You can see that they're very similar, but Oyster is gonna be a bit more of an ivory champagne, whereas we have a little bit more, almost like a, a soft taupe base to the Mica shade. This one here is Moonstone, let's put that one here, and you can see that this one has a little bit more gold in it, but it's also gonna be a very light, soft, shimmery shade, but it's almost more like a white gold with a touch of peach. This one is Smoky Topaz. I have to say, I wear this one quite a lot. We're gonna put that one right there, and you can see, again, it's gonna be cooler in tone than Equinox. It's definitely cooler in tone than Caramel down here. You can see that it is very similar to this shade here, which is the Bronze Mood from by Terry. This one here is Espresso. Let's put that there. You can see that this is gonna be a deeper, cooler brown than Pecan. It's even deeper and slightly cooler. Um, not more gray, but just a little bit more black base, actually, um, to, than the Sicily. And then the last one I have, this is Sunrise Pink from Bobbi Brown. And let's see how that compares. You can see that this is gonna be a very light shimmery pink, but it is gonna be a warmer tone pink. It's also gonna be more sheer than Macaron. Now I have to say, all of these eyeshadow crayons I featured here in the comparisons, they are all fantastic. I really like all of them. They all perform very well on me, however, I would have to say that there are some that perform slightly better if I'm going past the eight hour mark. So let me just kind of go through my thoughts and favorites for these different formulas. Starting with the Sisley, I have to say that this is a favorite. I love these, but typically I like to use these paired with a powder shadow. If I do not set these with a powder shadow, I will have creasing after the eight hour mark. They will perform well if I put it on, I blend it out and so forth. They'll perform well for the eight hours, but then going past that, I can get some creasing if I'm using just the shadow sticks. So I do like to pair these with their powder shadows or other powder, powder shadows as well. So just something to note there. I really love how creamy these are. I love the pointed tip because I like to use these as eyeliner as well. And I just find these to be really easy to use. So these are definitely one of my favorites, but if I'm looking for an eyeshadow stick for very, very long day wear, I'm actually gonna lean more towards the Bobbi Brown Victoria Beckham Hourglass. Those all last it really well, but honestly, I have to say I prefer the Bobbi Brown and the Victoria Beckham over the Hourglass. Moving on though, let's start with the By Terry. I think this is a really great shimmery shadow stick. I have had these in the full sizes in the past, and I have to say I really like the shade Bronze Moon. This is a go-to shade for me. I think it's great but they don't have a very expansive color range. So although I really like this one, I love it as a one and done shade. I wear this during the summer a lot. Um, you know, I do tend to reach more for other brands, partly because of the shade range, also because I prefer the shape of the Sisley being more of the pencil style. And um, typically the Sisley in shade number one is a very similar shade to Bronze Moon and I typically have a full size of that. Right now I ran out of that, if you can believe it. Uh, the, the end part dried up and it went flying out of the, the tube. So that's how I, I use that one up. But um, it is one that I have had on hand for years. Like it's a staple and I will be repurchasing that. So, 
you know, I find them similar, but I do prefer the Sicily over the By Terry. And just a quick note, pretty much all of these eyeshadow crayons, the full sizes are all about the same size. So if you're looking at price differences, you can pretty much just look at the price. The Sisley is 1.5 grams instead of 1.6, but the Bobbi Brown are 1.6, just like the Victoria Beckham and the Hourglass. I have to say, I really like the, Victor uh, the Bobbi Brown shadow sticks. I find these to be a great basic, a great staple I have. They have a very large color range. They perform really well. I would have to say that the Victoria Beckham, to me, are pretty equivalent to the Bobbi Brown. I like both of those a ton. The Victoria Beckham is, is going to be clean beauty. The uh, Bobbi Brown is not, so there is a difference there. Texturally, the Bobbi Brown feel like they have a little bit more silicone in there. There's a little bit more of that glide, whereas we have a more of like a creamier texture with the Victoria Beckham. So if that makes sense, you know, the creamier texture is gonna be a little bit thicker. Both of them glide very easily. They both blend out very easily, but it does feel like the Bobbi Brown has perhaps a little bit more silicone in there. And then when it comes down to the Hourglass versus the Victoria Beckham, I have to say I do prefer the Victoria Beckham for a couple reasons, but mostly the color range. I like the colors in the Victoria Beckham better than those in the Hourglass. The Hourglass tend to run a little bit warm. They're kind of this same type of color palette. And I would actually prefer these to be more pigmented. I like soft colored eye looks and so forth. However, I would prefer to have a pigmented stick that I can sheer out like the Victoria Beckham versus a lighter stick that I then have to layer and layer when I want to get more pigmentation because the formulas on both of these are very easy to blend out, but I don't want it to kind of start blending away to nothing if I'm trying to, uh, you know, blend it into the crease and so forth. So I have to say, you know, they hold up really well. They're gorgeous but I will probably use the Hourglass more in conjunction with a powder shadow, maybe a powder base, and then put this on the lid part, you know, just because of the sheerness of these in comparison. So those are kind of my thoughts on those, and I hope that was helpful. Overall, I have to say, you know, eye crayons have come such a long way over the years, but I do really like both of the ones that I tried. Again, thank you to Victoria Beckham though for sending me all of the colors. The four that I originally purchased were Pecan, Bottle Green, Caramel, and Oyster. So those were the four of my original purchase. And yeah, overall I have to say I am really happy with both of the eyeshadow sticks, but I can see the Victoria Beckham being ones that I reach for more frequently. And I think I'll be using those, you know, as much as I use my Bobbi Brown ones. So those are kind of the two brands that I'm using the most right now, followed by the Sisley. However, um, I do have to replenish my Sisley. So yeah, those are kind of my top threes. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope this was helpful. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on these or any other eyeshadow sticks. So please share them down below in the comments and thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.